All right, there's uh, several different types of door stops on the market. Uh, this is a threaded in type. Um, pretty much my, probably my favorite kind of door stop. Um, this one conveniently is completely missing the door, so I'm gonna replace this and raise it up a little bit. Um, anyway, to remove these, you just turn them out. They just spin in. You can see this little part here just goes right in the hole. And uh, that's how you replace that. Really simple. And then this one, we needed to raise it up. These get discolored pretty easily, as you can tell. Um, here we go. So we need it to come up fairly high. So I'm gonna put it here and it'll just cover our old hole. And then when I paint it, Okay. And just tighten it enough down enough so that it won't rotate. And then just thread in our new deal here. You can see how that just inserts into the hole and twists there nice and easy. Some of the other type of uh, door stops have a screw uh, permanently mounted on the back of it, and you just twist it into your hole. Maybe you pre drill your hole or, or whatever. Um, all pretty simple stuff here. Anyway, let's make sure our door hits that real good. There we go, that's good enough. And I'll come back later and touch up paint this down here, make it look pretty you know, good to go there. Okay, here's a, another door stop where the door stop was actually installed too high and so it's angled down. And it looks like we've got enough room to lower this down a little bit, so. I'm just going to twist out the old one and just twist out nice and easy. Remove our deal there. Oh, look at that. It's got an old hole where probably it was stripped. So what I'm going to do is just move it over a little bit. I don't want to go too low, but I don't want to go too high either. Let's move it over to cover the hole here. Do my painting, I can come back and fix that better. Anyway, this just rotates into the into the hole, and we're all set there. Bang! Stops the door. Exactly what we wanted to do. Nice new door.